channel. This is Pay Takes LA and I am doing a really fun video for you today. Before I get started, I just wanted to thank you all so much for all of your support on my recent videos and I can't wait to continue this journey with you guys. So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Please turn on your post notifications so you know that I will be posting because I try to post at least once a week unless I get crazy busy with dance. And please like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Right now, go back, watch my old videos, give those big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff because I am so grateful for you. Also, right here, you see that? That's my Instagram. If you could follow that, I would really appreciate it because I like to send out things on my stories for you guys to tell me what you want to see on my YouTube. So my Instagram corresponds with my YouTube and vice versa. So follow me there, follow me here, and let's get to the video. Today I am doing a video that I saw on a few people's other channels. I am reacting to people's assumptions of me. This is kind of scary because I feel like people see me completely different than what I am, which is also like the cool part. But I sent out on my Instagram story about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, hey, yeah, for you guys to send in your assumptions, and I took a few screenshots of those because some of them were the same as others, like just in different words. Um, so I'm not gonna do every single one, but I'm gonna get to a few of them. And to start off, the first one was from Taylor Ray 0505. Shout out to you if you're watching this. She said, you love dancing but hated when your mom pushed you at Abby on Dance Moms. It embarrassed you. So you're partly right, but not fully. Yes, Taylor, I did love to dance, obviously. I still do it for a living. Um, however, I was not embarrassed when my mom pushed me on Abby because it's a TV show. She was supposed to do that. That was our role. And I actually graduated from Abby's studio. I was in a different dance company for her. I was in the senior company when I graduated. I've done the teen. I did the juniors when I first went to Abby's. And so I wasn't necessarily pushed on Abby. I was just made to look that way for the show. Therefore, I wasn't embarrassed because I knew it was for the show. Next question from Faith Brandner 05. Lots of zero fives. She said, boy crazy, I love you so much by the way you're gorgeous. Well, thank you. I love you too. And I wouldn't say I'm boy crazy because I've had the same boyfriend since I was 14 years old and I'm 21. So, and I'll be with him the rest of my life. But yes, I'm boy crazy for my boyfriend, but no one else. <laughs> and the next one is from Tati underscore Danielle. And she said, you look really scary and intimidating, but you're probably actually really nice and sweet. Well, that makes me sad. I'm not scary or intimidating. I just want to be everybody's friends. But I promise I'm sweet. I always say, if I'm your friend, I'll be the best friend you ever had. Next one. <laughs> this is from C underscore Thomas 55. You hate dancing. So I don't know where you got that because I have been dancing since I was three. And like I just said, I'm 21 years old. I moved to LA to pursue my dreams of becoming a professional dancer, which is what I'm doing now. So I definitely don't hate dancing because if I did, I would be in college somewhere or back home or not living in LA. So sorry, but you're wrong on that one. <laughs> Next one. You seem really sweet and that is from C.Ashley14. Well, thank you very much. I try to be a nice person. Um, I am one of those people that really believes in what goes around comes around, karma and I try to improve myself every day, just like I feel like everybody should. Um, and like I said earlier, I have a close group of friends. I don't have like a whole ton, but if you are my friend, I will do anything for you. I'll go to the ends of the earth for you because I care about you, I've invested time in you, and vice versa, and I want to be the best friend that I can possibly be. The next one is, this is from Kayla with a K, Powell 47, and she said, you are five foot 10, really tall. This probably came from watching Dance Moms. They said I was giant, I was too tall to be on the team. I was just like, they made it seem like I was almost like an ogre, which is so weird because I'm one of the smallest girls off of Dance Moms now. Like I think even Maddie's taller than me. Anyways, I'm not 5'10", I'm actually 5'4". And I like to say sometimes I'm 5'5", five five, but that's not true. I like, if I'm on my tippy toes and I'm like, yeah, then I'm 5'5". Five five. But no, I'm 5'4", not 5'10". I guess that's normal height, so I'm not super tall. 
So there's your answer to that. The next one is from the same girl, and she also said, you hated being on Dance Moms. So, I didn't hate being on Dance Moms. I actually am very grateful for that opportunity. However, I did hate how they portrayed me and mostly how they portrayed my mom because it made us seem like we were people that we were not. If you did see my video a couple weeks ago, I did The Truth, My Journey on Dance Moms and I go into depth about that. So I didn't hate being on the show. I actually love that because I get to see parts of my growing up and childhood that I maybe forgot about um, on like YouTube and on TV. So I, once again, I do not hate being on Dance Moms. I hate how I was shown on Dance Moms. The next assumption is from Haley Ruiz, and she said, you were a popular girl in high school. Oh, Haley, if only you knew me. I was not popular at all. I wasn't like this nerd, but I didn't really get involved with a lot of people in a lot of school activities because I was so focused on dance. So I did go to public school and I did graduate from a great school. I went to a school called Upper St. Clair in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and I spoke to people, it's just I was so involved in dance, especially in high school I was filming Dance Moms. And then I was dating Logan and I was just worried about more about what I was gonna do after high school. So I wasn't super popular because I wasn't going to parties, I wasn't going to football games. I mean, I definitely went to that stuff once in a while, but I was more focused on my after school activity, which was dance all day, every day. I even left school early for dance, so. No, I wasn't popular, but it's okay. You don't have to be popular, it's fine. You do you, boo. The next assumption is from Sydney, and she said, you are sporty. So I would say that I am a little bit athletic because I would consider dance a sport. I know a lot of people don't. Um, but if you hand me like a bat and a ball or anything with a ball, like basketball, football, tennis, I will embarrass the crap out of myself. I tried tennis, terrible. I tried softball. Couldn't get it off of the tee. I was a little girl, my dad always tells a story how I was out in the outfield and I just had like a group of girls around me and I was talking instead of playing the game. And I tried volleyball, which I was okay at and I probably could have gotten a lot better if I would have stuck with it. But then I was like, nah, I'm just gonna stick to dance. I'll kick my leg and turn and bend in half rather than having to deal with a bat and ball, so. Sporty if you consider dance a sport, not sporty if you don't. <laughs> Okay, so my next assumption is from super underscore nova underscore sorch. Wow, say that five times fast. <laughs> and she said, you hated Abby Lee Miller. So hate is a very strong word and I do not hate her, nor do I hate anybody. Um, I think she gave lots of great opportunities to myself as well as other dancers. As you guys can see, I would never wish anything bad upon her but I do wish that I had a better relationship with her because as you can see, after I graduated from her studio, I graduated from high school, I moved to LA and then because we didn't have the best relationship, there was just no contact with each other, which doesn't mean I hate her because I'm very grateful for everything she's done for me, but I just wish it would have been maybe a little bit better of a relationship, kind of more like a her and Maddie, how they used to be, but it's fine. I wish her the best and I definitely do not hate her, so you heard it here. Peyton Ackerman, Abby Lee, don't hate each other. My next assumption is from Brenna.Olwinski. You guys have awesome last names. She said, you wear a lot of makeup. So, I know like girls are like, oh, wearing a lot of makeup's bad. But, being in the industry that I'm in, I have to wear makeup. So if I'm going to an audition where I want to book the job touring for Jason Derulo, I need to wear makeup. Sorry, that's the point of it. Also, I like to make myself look presentable if I need to be. If I'm filming a video, I want to look somewhat okay. If I'm going to class, I want to look somewhat okay. If I'm going to the gym, your girl jumps in the shower, wipes off all her makeup, and goes to the gym and sweats her butt off. So, yes I wear makeup, but not all the time, and I wouldn't say I wear a lot of it. See, like, I don't have a lot of eye makeup on. I mean, I have a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, and eyeliner, but Nothing crazy, I've definitely seen more. And I don't wear a lot of skin stuff. I like to wear foundation just to make myself look like. Wow, that was good. But I don't wear a ton of makeup. Anyways, I'm gonna start blabbing about this one. I'm gonna move on to the next assumption, here we go. 
So my last assumption is from nerdy underscore wallflower 18 and she said you still talk to the dance mom girls. So I follow them on social media. I see them once in a while. I think I've seen Kalani and Mackenzie in the past year but I haven't seen the other ones in a while. Um, I don't keep in contact with them like every day. I'm not like, hey, what's up? Let's go get in and out. Let's go to dance class. That's just because. But also I th think that everybody forgets that I'm 21. They're way younger than me. I mean, Mackenzie's like 15, I think. Nia's 17, like they're just not in a similar age, especially when you get to like these ages, there's a big difference. Um, the closest one to me was Brooke, age-wise, and she lives back in Pittsburgh, I believe, and goes to school. So, I don't, like, necessarily talk to them all day, every day, but if I were to see them out, I would obviously say hello and be cordial, um, but we're not, like, best friends, let's go get dinner. It's just, I mean, we're way different in age, and we just, I mean, as you know, life goes on, and you grow apart from some people, even if you were super close to them, and you spend every day to them. So, that is that. Um, I really appreciate you guys sending in all of your assumptions. Like I said, if you don't already, please go follow me on Instagram because I like to get your ideas for future YouTube videos through that. Also, comment down below what you want to see me talk about or do next. I've done a couple things with Dance Moms and I want to do a couple more challenges, I believe. So, if you have something in specific that you want to see me do, comment that. I read your comments. I appreciate them. I love you guys. I really do. You guys are the best supporters ever. Click that subscribe button like I said before and I will see you guys next week on Pay Takes LA and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye y'all.